Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Zoo Crafting. I hope you guys liked the intro of the um, time lapse of me building the net. Welcome back to another episode of Zoo Crafting. I hope you guys liked the intro of the um, time lapse of me building the net. So it is built now and you can actually see it on the map. It kind of follows this. It's definitely not straight, but that's okay. It gives us a nice bit of shoreline on either side that it connects. Um, and so you might have noticed that I didn't go all the way to the top. And that's because we need to do something special up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. And we are actually going to make the top out of carpenter's blocks so that we can cover it um, with blue glass to make it you know, look more realistic, um, like it's in the water. And then we put the um, floats on top. So I don't know if you noticed at the uh, retention pool, um, by my home, it has um, it has floats on it, the, the black pieces. Um, I haven't yet put that on the one at the Dolphin Center yet, um, and that is on my list of things to do. <laughs> but, yeah, so that is the intention, uh, so that it looks a little bit more realistic. So we're going to go ahead and make a bunch of carpenter's blocks. I don't actually know how much, how many we exactly need, but we're going to need a bunch. So we might as well make a lot, right? And I don't yet have the tops for them yet, but that's okay. We can always do that later. It might look a little bit funny now, but the finished product will look different. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. 
and fill them with a glass and I will be right back. Okay, so we got that filled in. It looks pretty fantastic. And we will put the clear blue glass on top once I get more uh, blue, blue dye. Yeah, blue dye. Um, Cause I, I kind of don't have any at the moment. Um, and so what you do is you just kind of place it on top and it'll be a nice covering. But I think, yeah, you can see it even better now on the map. So it goes around like that. So it's a nice big area for a bunch of sharks, more than just the one that we currently have. So I'm pretty excited about that. And it's a little bit laggy, <laughs> admittedly. So that used up all, nearly all of the glass that we brought with us. So next on the docket is to build the tunnel. I am not going to put the shark in here until we build the tunnel because otherwise it's going to bite off my leg and it's not going to be uh, fun. It might be entertaining for you guys, but not, not super fun for me. So I think we will make it, hmm. So we're kind of at an angle here. But I am thinking we're going to have a wood base and then the walls and top are going to be made out of glass. Um, so it's going to, let's just say this, it's going to go straight out, make a turn and probably make another turn or two and have sta a staircase going up. So I think that is a pretty decent idea. Okay, so we skipped ahead. We're at, back at the Oceanarium entrance over at the little open diver, ocean, ocean diver. I need to change that again. Um, little kiosk. And I know I said I was probably thinking about lining it with wood, but I actually quite like the look of sandstone because it doesn't detract much from the ocean surrounding. And I actually kind of like this... Um, Line. So I think the smooth sandstone will be the floor and the stairs, and then this will be the wall. The, uh, the one level high wall surrounded by glass. So I think we do actually have some sandstone. It might not be enough, but, you know, we'll just, we'll make do with what we have for now. And we'll go ahead and build the tunnel. We want Ocean Diver. Yeah, it's Ocean Diver, not Open Diver. I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> when I was making that sign. So, unfortunately, since everything's pixelated, we kind of have to come at this at an angle. Right? So, let's actually do this. And how wide should we make it? Two? I feel like that could be kind of narrow, but we could always widen it out if we want to put anything there. Actually, actually, I'm thinking three. So let's actually put the sand that we collect there so that we can fill in. Yeah, I'm thinking three. Okay, and I really want to actually chisel that. Let's chisel that. Okay. 
Not prepared. Guys always come prepared. So we want, I think this smooth sandstone. Let's double check because some of the smooth sandstone has lines, but that, yeah, that's pretty smooth. Let's go ahead and take those. One goes here, the other goes here, and we have the entrance here. And we can work on that in a little bit, but we're gonna just make the outline right now. Ooh, okay, well, yeah, you are probably gonna have to go to the surface too. Hmm. So we also want to consider depth. And actually, I think that will be something that we can finagle a little bit later on. So let's just follow this line down and see roughly where it takes us. So I think about here we can shift. We can make the shift. So one, two, three. We'll take you and then we'll put you down just so that. Um, yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so that's where that's going. Yeah, okay, I can calculate this correctly, so far anyway. Okay, so that is outlined pretty well. I don't think the square blocks are too bad. <gasps> You know what I had meant to do? I had meant to actually make this those lines, didn't I? That is exactly what I had been saying, so <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> I'll come back and fix these in particular a little bit later. Um, they're kind of easy to tell the difference, so we'll do this. Yeah, okay. I much... I think I prefer that. It's a little bit modern, but it's not too bad. So we'll go ahead... Aww. Oh, there we go. Okay. It just didn't respawn. So we're gonna head on this way. And let's see. I think we'll be making another turn here. This won't be a straight tunnel. You'll just kind of have to meander your way through, which is fine. Most of the time when you're walking through these kind of shark tunnels, you spend more of your time looking up than you know, wanting to get through really quickly, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, do I have any shears? I wonder if we can cut these with shears. Yes! Okay, so we just will cut them down with shears, not our hands, so that we don't accidentally destroy the coral. I think that is a much better idea. And let's see. I think we'll keep going this way and we'll make one more turn. To get to the end. And actually, so as I was building the netting, I was thinking about how I wanted to, you know, build this area, what I wanted it to look like, and what kind of feel it was. And this is the open ocean section of the Oceanarium. And I was thinking, well, why not just build most of the pathways, some of the things that you can do in the Oceanarium underwater? So I think that'll be a fun little addition to the uh, this section, make it a little bit more unique than the rest um, and you know each section of the oceanarium will have its own unique little pieces and this will kind of be the oceanariums so I'm pretty excited about that so I think it's going to come up and end up up here and actually I think it's gonna make one more turn um, and it'll start heading up this way and we'll We'll make sure it has stairs. 
But let's go ahead and finish the other side and make sure it's three wide. And that's where it ended. Excellent. Yeah, okay, so it's still wide enough. Um, so that's why I was kind of concerned about making it wide enough for things, because I want, you know, like actual uh, things to do under the ocean, and I think that'll be really fun. And we'll have to level this out a little bit more, but I'm just getting the outline done right now. Just so that we have a plan. Plans are always good when you're doing large builds. Large or small. Especially when you start off not knowing what you want to do. And I often don't know what I want to do. I am a very indecisive person. So, one, two, three, one more. Okie dokie. One, two, three. Yeah, that is three. I was just double checking. I wasn't entirely sure. And the floor is going to be sandstone as well. So it's a little bit more consistent. We're going to have to mow down all of this coral. But that's okay because we'll put it back on the other side. Um, probably on this side because this side is a little bit more full. Um, so yeah, it is going to make its way up here. Probably rather steep, to be honest. And I just ran out of sandstone. But yeah, it's going to go straight up to this side. Which I'm not quite sure what we're going to put on this side yet. But we might also have some side tunnels running off. They might be smaller. Um, you know, connecting the exhibits so that you can, you know, walk through tunnels. Connecting uh, different things that you can do. I was considering over here is a huge um, dome of abyssal stone that we could, you know, carve this out and put something inside, um, which would be really fun. This is an interesting type of kelp. It's different than the other ones. It's really pretty. Actually, so that's kelp. Is this giant green kelp? Okay. So they're two different species. That's interesting. I hadn't realized. And it is nighttime, isn't it? Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Excellent. Okay, and we're obviously going to have to build things to where the monsters don't get inside anything, you know? So let's see, another thing is obviously the containment to make sure nobody goes for a swim in the shark exhibit, right? Because that wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> So, um, I think we will design that once we get the tunnel up and going and make sure, you know, it looks okay and we know where it's going to be. So, I think that is it this time. Next time we will finish the tunnel and we will be able to put our shark in and it'll be uh, a real exhibit. Once that happens, we'll obviously have to keep making um, changes and make it safer and put the blue glass on top so it looks better, but we're, we're getting there, guys. We have a plan, and it's a pretty firm plan, so I'm pretty excited. I can't wait until next time where we put in the shark. I'll see you then. Bye!